This type of function question comes up and it's pretty formulaic. So it's a good idea to have a game plan. And I would almost always uh, pick numbers here. Let's call A2 and B3. You can pick whatever numbers you want, just make them easy. And what you need to do is plug in two and three separately into each one of these answer choices. Then plug in five, the sum of two and three, and the correct answer choice is going to yield the same result, regardless of whether you put them in separately or together. So it can't be A because 16 doesn't equal 25. Some of these are really easy to see. Clearly, these are not going to be the same. The sum of, of two roots that aren't under the same square root are definitely not the same as the sum of the numbers under the square root. That's not going to work. You can also estimate this real quick because you know that uh, root 2 is about 1.4 and root 3 is 1.7, and root 5 is much smaller than root 9, so it's definitely less than 3, whereas this side is definitely greater than 3. And here, again, you don't need to do the math to see that this side is way bigger than this side. One thing to keep in mind when picking numbers is that you could be left with two answer choices that satisfy the question. It's really unlikely, and I would say I've never seen a function question like this that has produced two answers um, when picking numbers, but it is possible. And if that happens, all you have to do is pick another set of numbers, and you don't have to test everything again, just the answer choices that you have left.